Black holes are bizarre things, even by the standards of astronomers. Their mass is so great it bends space around them so tightly that nothing can escape. And yet, despite their famous blackness, some black holes are quite visible. The gas and stars these galactic vacuums devour are sucked into a glowing disk before their one-way trip into the hole, and these disks can shine more brightly than entire galaxies. Stranger still, these black holes twinkle. The brightness of the glowing disks can fluctuate from day to day, and nobody is entirely sure why. Astronomer Christian Wolf and his team piggybacked on NASA's asteroid defense effort to watch more than 5,000 of the fastest growing black holes in the sky for five years in an attempt to understand why this twinkling occurs. In a new paper in Nature Astronomy, they describe this could be caused by a kind of turbulence driven by friction and intense gravitational and magnetic fields. The team studies supermassive black holes, the kind that sit at the centers of galaxies and are as massive as millions or billions of suns. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has one of these giants at its center with a mass of about four million suns. For the most part, the 200 billion or so stars that make up the rest of the galaxy, including our sun, happily orbit around the black hole at the center. However, things are not so peaceful in all galaxies. When pairs of galaxies pull on each other via gravity, many stars may end up tugged too close to their galaxy's black hole. This ends badly for the stars. They're torn apart and devoured. Christian says this must have happened in galaxies with black holes that weigh as much as a billion suns, because how else could they have grown so large? It may also have happened in the Milky Way in the past. Black holes can also feed in a slower, more gentle way, by sucking in clouds of gas blown out by red giant stars. In their new study, scientists looked closely at the feeding process among the 5,000 fastest growing black holes in the universe. In earlier studies, the team discovered black holes with the most voracious appetite. Last year, they found a black hole that eats an Earth's worth of stuff every second. In 2018, researchers found one that eats a whole sun every 48 hours. But there are lots of questions about their actual feeding behavior. Astronomers know the material on its way into the hole spirals into a glowing accretion disk that can be bright enough to outshine entire galaxies. These visibly feeding black holes are called quasars. Most of these black holes are a long, long way away, much too far for us to see any detail of the disk. There are some images of accretion disks around nearby black holes, but they are merely breathing in some cosmic gas rather than feasting on stars. In the new study, scientists used data from NASA's Atlas Telescope in Hawaii, which scans the entire sky every night, weather permitting, monitoring for asteroids approaching Earth from the outer darkness. These whole sky scans also happen to provide a nightly record of the glow of hungry black holes deep in the background. The team put together a five-year movie of each of those black holes, showing the day-to-day -day changes in brightness caused by the bubbling and boiling glowing maelstrom of the accretion disk. The twinkling of these black holes can tell us something about accretion disks, but would the disks in the real world prove this simple without any further complexities? Whether simple is the right word for turbulence in an ultra-dense, out-of-control environment embedded in intense gravitational and magnetic fields where space itself is bent to the breaking point is perhaps a separate question. Using statistical methods, the team measured how much the light emitted from their 5,000 disks flickered over time. The pattern of flickering in each one looked somewhat different, but when astronomers sorted them by size, brightness, and color, they began to see intriguing patterns. They were able to determine the orbital speed of each disk, and once you set your clock to run at the disk's speed, all the flickering patterns started to look the same. This universal behavior is indeed predicted by the theory of magnetorotational instabilities. It means these mind-boggling maelstroms are simple after all. 
and it opens new possibilities. The team thinks the remaining subtle differences between accretion disks occur because we're looking at them from different orientations. The next step is to examine these subtle differences more closely and see whether they hold clues to discern a black hole's orientation. Eventually, future measurements of black holes could be even more accurate. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.